My name is Peter Johns and I work for Middlesex University. Uh, originally I was a silversmith before I joined the university. I taught people how to make jewellery and how to make silverware. Middlesex University have been incredibly supportive and there would be no Argentium project without Middlesex University. The project actually started before the university when it was a polytechnic but it wasn't until we became a university that the real development happened. During my uh, employment at Middlesex University, one day the phone went and a French voice said to me, we're a company called Metal Europe. We have a secret alloy and we'd like to come and talk to you. When we got to uh, Metal Europe, to their research establishment, they actually offered me more than one metal. They offered me another metal called indium. And there was a piece of indium on the table and a piece of germanium on the table. I chose germanium and it was the right choice. I had a student who asked me a question about a particular problem with sterling silver. How can I deal with fire scale? And in some other way than the traditional ways. And that got me thinking about the germanium, whether germanium might prevent fire scale happening in sterling silver. Um, I approached Metal Europe with my ideas. They thought it was a good idea. A contract was drawn up between the university and uh, Metal Europe for me to do some research. The one property that, that everybody wants with silver, of course, is to stop it tarnishing. And tarnish, as you know, has been the big problem with well, sterling silver. People don't like cleaning their silver. And we found that we got tarnish resistance in the alloy. Now, at first, I tried to avoid that because everybody said to me, loads of people have been down that road before. It's a minefield. Don't go down there. And so I looked at all these other properties. But in the end, it is such a commercial advantage. We did some serious study on the tarnish resistance of the alloy. What makes it tarnish resistance is that we've added this metal called germanium and it forms a tr transparent oxide on the surface. So it works something like stainless steel. In stainless steel you have chrome and that produces a chrome oxide, a transparent film on the surface which stops the iron inside corroding. And with argentium we have germanium inside and it produces a transparent oxide and that gives us our protection against tarnishing. A lot of people ask me uh, how it feels to have made something which is commercially successful. And I'm never sure where the success is. You know, what I always reply is, was I successful when I made the first alloy, the first kilo, the first 100 kilos, the first 100 tonnes? Uh, or am I successful when the whole world uses Argentium? My name's Lucian Taylor and I'm based in High Wycombe. What particularly interested me about Argentium was the fact that it seemed to fuse really beautifully. I was creating a new body of work where I was trying to weld, flame weld or gas weld seamed objects and I started off using sterling silver and I was getting very porous seams and I had this recollection from a seminar that I'd gone to of Peter John's years before that argentium didn't oxidise in the same way that sterling silver would. So I obtained some argentium silver from America because I couldn't get it in this country at the time. I tried flame welding it and I was getting really beautiful seams, um, really smooth, very little porosity. Um, and I was, I was very impressed by it. And the seams were much stronger as well than they were in sterling silver. I found that I could take some argentium granules and just place them next to one another and with a bit of flux I could just heat them and they, they were fusing beautifully. Fusing potential argentium for me seemed to have a lot of creative potential of creating pieces in in different ways than one might do as a silversmith normally where you would join things by soldering. My whole body of work has moved away from soldering things to various types of fusing. It's made for interesting and innovative designs that hopefully 
catch the eye of uh, my potential customers. The message I'd give to Peter in regards to creating this LA is thank you for being bold enough to try and create something new in what often is quite a traditional sector. And also, I think, you know, keep, keep on with the innovation. I'm Ndidi Akubia. Um, I'm from Manchester originally, but I live in South East London and I'm um, a silversmith. Our gentium is special because it's a very nice material to work in and also it doesn't tarnish as quickly as other silver materials. I was introduced to our gentium in 2009 where I um, got the opportunity to work on a wine cooler for a prize giving. Um, with British Silver Week. And it had an extra sparkle when I was finishing off the pieces. I use burnished stakes, which is the metal forms, and burnished hammers to hit against the material to create a, um, a surface, a sort of like a sparkle surface. And what I did find with Argentium was that it was it was whiter, it was cleaner, it, it, you know, it seemed to have more of a gleam and it, it was such a pleasure to work in. It was quite soft as well, the surface that I was left with. When I'm working in fine silver, it's, it's a softer material, it moves quite fast. So it's not as easy to control, that's what I find. But with, with the Britannia version of Argentium, I found that it, um, I'd be hammering it, making it hard, but it'd hold the structure quite nicely. So it was soft enough to hammer and yet was hold strong enough to hold the form. I hope that we, I can use it more in the future. My name's Kevin Whitmore. I'm a product manager at Rio Grande. Rio Grande is one of the largest jewelry tools and material suppliers in America for the jewelry trade. We ship over 2,000 parcels a day a lot of those parcels contain Argentium products. Creole Grande's customers love Argentium because for them it's better than sterling. It really comes down to three properties. There are other benefits, but I'd say the three big things with Argentium that our customers love, it fuses to itself, it's, it's a dream to work with for those reasons, it's not going to fire scale, and the customers love it because it won't tarnish. This is a great sales benefit for our customers when they're dealing with their retail customers. Argentium has really caught a lot of people's attention here in America and worldwide. Argentium has fostered a certain amount of competition because there are other, I'll call them wannabe alloys that are uh, inspired by Argentium. When I started with Rio Grande as product manager in 1995, things were pretty calm. We had sterling, we had fine silver, and that was about it in the silver alloys. When we added Argentium in 2005, um, there were a few anti-fire scale casting grains out there, but none of them had the working properties of Argentium. Since we've been handling Argentium, I'd say many other competitors are trying to devise products to catch up to the bar that Argentium has set. Well, I've had the pleasure of knowing Peter, and uh, I admire Peter greatly. I think that he's really made a difference here in America and worldwide with uh, silversmiths. And uh, I guess my only uh, thing I'd say is, well done, Peter, and uh, what's next? I get a lot of satisfaction from seeing the material develop in the world through seeing craftsmen make different designs in it and explore it in different ways. Uh, I hope it's still got a lot more development in it and we will see a lot of interesting things, other things come out made in Argentium. Uh, my hopes of the future for Argentium are that, I suppose, if I put it with a smile on my face, that it dominates the world and becomes the alloy of choice for the whole of the jewellery industry. Personally, I I have some satisfaction that I think the work that I've done with germanium into silver alloys will be here for a long time. I quite confidently feel that for probably for the next 
5,000 years. I mean, sterling silver has been around 5,000 years, so if the world's still here for another 5,000 years, I have a feeling that germanium will still be in sterling alloys for the foreseeable future.